Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be doing another draw with me. Surprise, yeah, so unpredictable. Uh, it's not like I do this like every single month, but yeah, in this video, we'll be, or I'll be uh, drawing some thumbnail ideas for a future acrylic painting that I'm super excited about. Uh, I originally thought I was gonna do like a pastel painting, but I've decided acrylic painting for going 24 by 36 gonna be fun. As I was exploring the fashion of Bill and Saul uh, in the last video, uh, I had an idea for a possible acrylic painting of them. And after using the oil pastels in the Paul Rubens review video, it really made me want to traditionally paint again. And I want to share my process and journey to a final painting with you guys. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking for like showing my process of painting. And I figured just documenting everything could really help you in your own processes so in this video i'll be sketching out some thumbnails and ideas that i have for a painting and nailing down the general composition and subject matter that i want in the final painting so feel free to grab your sketchbook or tablet and draw with me and comment down below what you're working on I really like the silhouettes of the oil pastel portraits I did of Saul and Bill in the trying oil pastel video, so I really want to capture the same effect by having them either facing each other or facing away back to back. So in these thumbnails, I'll be messing around with those different orientations and adding some floral elements through strawberry and blueberry plant motifs. And I keep on using the word thumbnail, but I realize some people might not know what that word means in um, relation to artwork. So typically a thumbnail Thumbnail, um, thumbnail as in like the size of your actual like thumb nail um, is supposed to be like a small little composition to figure out general placement of like characters or like how the background will look. It's just like a general sketch of a composition you want for a future piece. And it's really helpful to do multiple thumbnails and explore different ideas so you have a lot to choose from and basically have multiple attempts at getting like a different composition so you can truly get like the best outcome. That's a thumbnail if you didn't know. Also, if this is the first video you're watching of my channel, uh, Strawberry Saul and Blueberry Bill are original characters of mine and they will be featured in this painting. Um, they're fruit themed vampire slaying cowboys set in a fantasy world with magic and various magical creatures. I've been developing these characters and in the world that they inhabit for most of this year and sharing the process um, on my Instagram and on this YouTube channel. They've basically become mascots for my content creation and my art in general, being that they're best sellers in my sticker shop and you guys seem to be generally really interested in their story and whenever I share more about them, it's always received really well. So specifically for this painting, I kind of wanted to go for a gilded floral decorative piece and really stretch my skills with using um, a traditional medium like acrylic paint. I haven't, um, probably haven't painted with acrylic since, or I would have to say maybe December which is really scary. So I'm definitely going to be doing some like warm up paintings before I do the big 24 by 36 painting of Bill and Saul, but yeah, it's been a super long time. I've done a lot of like imaginative painting and illustration work with acrylics before, but I am a bit rusty. So I really want to nail down a composition and a really strong sketch. So I have a strong foundation for painting on top of. I found that when I have a really like clear sketch and clear draft of the content I want in the painting, it's a lot more easy of a painting process because so much of the content is already figured out, I can really focus on the colors and the value that I'm bringing into this painting. For instance, I painted a portrait of Strawberry Saul, like the first official piece of artwork I did of him back in, I have to say it's almost been a year ago. Holy cow, wait, that was like September. I finished like in like September, October of 2022 at the beginning of my fall semester. Wow, that's actually insane. Yeah, I'll have uh, like videos and pictures of the painting I'm talking about on screen, but yeah, I painted him. I like did a whole sketch of it in Procreate and I planned out all the colors and I remember the painting process being like super simple and actually going pretty quickly. So I'm hoping to do the same with this painting that I'm playing out right now. I also need to do a matching bill painting for Saul. Yeah, that needs to be on my list. Okay, yeah, future Shannon, take a note of that. 
anyways so since i need some like more warm-up and practice with traditional painting and future draw with me videos i'll be doing some blueberry and strawberry plant studies you may have already seen them on my instagram so make sure to follow me on instagram to see sneak peeks with all that sort of stuff um as i was sketching out these uh thumbnails i felt like i was completely uh bsing how the plants are structured i never actually really sat down and studied a strawberry plant or a blueberry plant so in some future draw with me's i kind of take a deeper look into the plants how they're structured and what are their common like rhythms and motifs with like the branches and the sprouts and like all that sort of stuff so i meant to mention this in the fashion video if you haven't seen it I'll have it linked uh, above but as I was looking at blueberries and strawberries I noticed that strawberry plants tend to be a lot more wild and swirly is the best way I know how to put it um, I don't know how to explain it but the branches and shoots are more tangled and almost sporadic in a sort of spontaneous way um, the leaves are serrated and the flowers are much more like how you would imagine a daisy Meanwhile, blueberry plants are more like structured branches and they almost sort of remind me of like olive branches. I always forget that blueberries don't grow from the visible hole of the, okay, the sound of it, like the visible hole of the blueberry, like that opening, but they're actually, they grow from the other end where that little like dot is. Um, also, blueberry blooms are like absolutely gorgeous. I'll have like a picture on screen, but they remind me a lot of Lily of the Valley and I want to incorporate Lily of the Valley more with Bill's symbolism and I ended up having Lily of the Valley on his hat in the sticker design I now have on my shop and I think it'd be interesting to explore more like possible religious imagery that I can tie in with this character since I grew up with a lot of religious imagery and with Bill being a very morally driven character, almost virtuous to a fault. And I think it would be a purposeful integration with his designs and motifs surrounding his character. Blueberry plants are very structured and have a clear design while strawberries are more wild which unintendedly match Bill and Saul and their personalities respectively. I didn't plan exactly for that, but I think visual vibes from the plants may have subconsciously influenced how I develop their personalities, which I think is super interesting because just looking at a blueberry plant, it's a lot more clear and structured. Therefore, Bill is more disciplined and has more like set uh, ways of living while strawberry plants are more wild and spontaneous and Saul tends to be more of a free spirit. Of course the characters are a bit more nuanced than the quote-unquote strict one and the quote-unquote free spirit but because Bill um, even though he's kind of like disciplined and a bit more reserved in some aspects he has a huge competitive spirit and would never turn down a drinking game and Saul even though he's a bit uh, more spontaneous and goofy is extremely disciplined about maintaining his fighting and swordsman skills. I hope you guys liked the last video where I was like designing their uh, like fashion concepts. I'm batch filming a lot of draw with me sessions. Um, basically just trying to give myself an excuse to draw for a couple days one week. So I figured I'd just film the whole process and post it. And so I'm writing a lot of scripts for a lot of them as well. And I'm enjoying more of the style of just filming everything that I make and just adding like a voiceover and explanation on top. And it does tend to perform well. And you guys always comment that you usually draw while watching my videos so comment down below what you're drawing or working on and or tag me on instagram i would love to see it but yeah as i was writing the script for this video um i'm staying at my boyfriend's apartment and we went to the lote market that's in orlando florida and got a bunch of good food uh we just made toboki for lunch and i was super excited because i hadn't had the dish in like literal years like it had to be like five or six years and I was really craving rice cakes a lot lately so we had that for lunch but I, <laughs> I forgot how spicy a uh, typical toboki gets and both of us were like sniffly and like our mouths were on fire but it tasted so good. Uh, I definitely recommend anyone in Central Florida making a trip to Lote Market. Um, I live in Lakeland which is like a growing city but we still don't have a lot of variety in food choices. Um, I always really enjoyed Korean food but there isn't really any restaurants or products in grocery stores available so it was super refreshing to see produce and fruit products that I never had access to growing up and this market had like a whole pastry bakery and food court and smelled amazing at like every turn and also had some like really nice uh plants available for sale at like really good prices but yeah as we were driving um back from Lotte Market uh we talked a little bit about like strawberry shortcake not the food variety um and we were trying to think of our 
what our um, strawberry shortcake characters would be. Matcha flan was the idea for my partner since he really likes matcha and flan. So I was like, ooh, a matcha flan. That'd be a super fun like design. And I chose the tentative pick of snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodles, if you're not familiar, are like a cinnamon sugar dusted, typically soft cookies that have been a staple, that have been a staple homemade cookie growing up in my house. Uh, when I was in high school, I actually used to make a couple batches and share them with friends and faculty at school and I learned that, um, I learned very quickly that not everyone had tried a snickerdoodle before. So they're perfect in their simplicity and they have a little bit of a silly name and I like them. And they have doodle in their name, which lends itself to me being an artist. It'd be cool to design them. Future Shay, if you're listening, go do it right now. And I also had an idea to draw Blu-ray Bill and Strawberry Saul in the 2003-2007 versions of Strawberry Shortcake, or even like the earlier versions as like a postcard or as stickers, or like a sticker sheet. I had the idea of doing like sticker sheets as like a whole theme for Strawberry Saul and Blueberry Bill. And I'm kind of working with the company right now. I don't know, it might happen maybe for, July's launch, I'm not sure, but definitely in the works. Let me know if you had any ideas. And I really want to do like a Halloween one. So yeah, Halloween's gonna be, be a big time for stickers. So I can't wait to start working on those. Speaking of postcards, I've been thinking about starting a sticker postcard club for, I don't know. Um, I was thinking maybe starting in July, but I think I should push it off to August. But I guess by the time this video, there might be more info. Um, so make sure to check out my Instagram or check out my shop link down in the description but i think it'd be a really great creative challenge for myself to design a little illustration each month along with some thematically matching stickers every month and i've gotten some comments and dms from people who are interested in like a monthly sticker or monthly postcard so We'll see. It would also be cool to share more insight to my process and show more sketches than I do on my Instagram. I want to be able to allow myself to create more finished works. As I mentioned in my last Draw With Me video, I felt like I've been doing so much sketchbook content lately because it's really fast and easy to do, but I'd really love to delve back into my illustration process and produce more finished works. But yeah, I want to be able to allow myself to create more finished works and offer them to you guys. So hopefully I can figure out how to print and ship them out to you guys. And of course, most of these things would be Bill and Saul in their world and maybe some more original content. Um, it'd be fun to introduce new fruit cowboys as well. I'm sort of already developing a Raspberry Rick and so stay tuned for that. And also show more behind the scenes and maybe offering polls to what I'll draw next or stickers for the next month. I don't know. There's so many ideas ideas that I want to do and I think it'd be fun to form like a really tight-knit art community for us to talk and like share um, our artwork and maybe help each other out or give each other ideas I think that could be really valuable and it'd be really cool to create a space like that to safely share your artwork and how you can improve or like tips or like social media tips or shop opening tips I think that could be really um, helpful for all of us back to the drawing I'm working on um, with one of the thumbnails I included a human heart with strawberry and blueberry plants surrounding and entangling it and I just thought it'd be something really fun to paint I know the whole human anatomy and floral elements has done before like I'm really thinking of uh, season three of Hannibal which speaking of Hannibal I had like a really crazy dream last night I had like Hannibal and Will were like tracking me down and they were like trying to kill me but it wasn't like in like a fun like oh this is so cool kind of way but it was actually like a horrifying type way because I feel like in actuality if those men were tracking you down that would be like that'd be like the worst thing ever <laughs> like if you've seen this like the season three finale like it, it'd be that sort of situation um but yeah anyways what was I saying yeah so the whole human anatomy and floral elements has been done before and can kind of verge on being a little cliche like flowers coming out of the body and being associated with the body um but i think adding a fruit element and connecting it to my own characters can make the concept a lot more meaningful to myself and a lot more personal to my body of work and not just a visually pleasing and slightly unsettling composition. Also, I'm not saying that simpler or purely visual aesthetic concepts are less valuable or meaningless as artwork. I love a pretty painting. It doesn't have to have any meaning. It could just be nice to look at, but I'm really interested in creating work tying back to these characters right now and to my larger body of work. Anyways, that could be another cool video concept showing the process of me painting the heart and the strawberry and the blueberry plants uh let me know if you guys are interested it makes me think of like i said it makes me think of hannibal which halloween is coming 
and you know I'm gonna do a Halloween drop with a bunch of horror slasher and thriller characters and also like some classic universal monsters and like traditional Halloween stuff and possibly Halloween versions of Strawberry Saw and Blueberry Bill. I'm trying to, currently trying to figure out what they would be for Halloween and I have no idea. Um, I was thinking like we could do like the cute animals things like a dog and cat thing or like I don't know or like cat and mouse sort of deal. I'm not sure. As I was working this as well, I was thinking of fun drawing prompt I use for Bill and Saul. I know I mentioned pirate versions of them in the last video, but now I'm thinking of some sort of punk or rock star cowboy versions of them. It would be so fun with like giving them tatted arms, leather studs, maybe some piercings. Bill could be like the lead singer in Saul, and Saul could be on guitar switching from electric to acoustic. That would be so much fun. That'd be so good. So many ideas. Such little time to draw. <laughs> yeah, the possibilities are endless with what I could do for Halloween. I'm super excited. I know it's like October is like a couple months away, but I really want to start planning now to make some really cool designs. And like I was saying, like doing a possible sticker sheet and also doing like Halloween theme, like Strawberry Saw, Blueberry Bill. Leave below in like the comment section if you have any ideas of like costumes they could wear. It'd be fun to do like a whole YouTube video of like designing different costumes for them and making it like super silly and super fun. My Halloween costume might be um, Herbert and Dan from Reanimator since I've been drawing a lot of like redraws of screenshots on my Instagram right now. I have a couple posted of me and my boyfriend as Herbert and Dan so I'm hoping we can do that for Halloween and that'd be super fun. As I'm finishing up these thumbnails, I originally planned for this painting to possibly be in a pastel painting because I've gotten some comments regarding like wanting to know more about pastel or my own pastel process and I'd really love to share that but the thing with pastel it's very difficult to store you have to store it flat and get some fixative to make sure it doesn't change so I was like talking with my boyfriend last night and he was like basically like why don't you just do like a acrylic painting on like a canvas and I'm like I have like a 24 by 36 uh, canvas but I was meaning to save that for like, a bill portrait to match my um, strawberry salt portrait but I think I'm gonna end up using that 24 by 36 it'll give me a ton of room to get details in um, especially in their faces and the portraits and in those leaves and I just feel like working larger allows you so much more space to get those details in and leave more of an impact on the viewer and I also just really miss acrylic painting like like I was saying before I haven't worked with acrylics in I'd say almost half a year now which is it's kind of sad because all the art that I've been producing lately have been like really fast like sketches or smaller illustrations that are digital which I've had a lot of fun with I really like how they turn out but I haven't really given myself a chance to devote time to like a larger piece and I think it'd be a really great creative endeavor to really push my skills and really uh put myself in the place to make like a fully finished piece and really showcase my abilities as an artist and prove to myself that I still have those abilities because I was also looking at some like old digital paintings last night and I was just like why is this like I, I really love these and they're like so detailed and really nice and I still like really like them after it being like a year or two ago and I realized that I just don't put as much time into pieces as much anymore because of that pressure to get things done and to have them posted to um, Instagram or YouTube. So I think moving forward this year, I definitely want to do more finished works that I can show and add to a portfolio because I'd love to work on projects that are like, I'd love to work on larger projects and really have like a body of work to show people and maybe future employers or clients. And that just, you kind of have to, funny thing is like, if you want to be an illustrator or a painter, you have to create illustrations and paintings. Like who would have thought? And that's what I hope with possibly opening up the postcard or like mini print club is that it would kind of encourage me, hold me accountable to creating more finished works, producing more um, consistently finished and fully rendered pieces in a more like consistent and like monthly manner so I can like slowly build a body of work that I really love. I'm still gonna be like posting like sketchbook content. I love using my sketchbook. My sketchbook has been my companion for like 10 years. Not the specific sketchbook, but like sketchbooks in general have been like a staple in my art process. And I think it's especially crucial as I begin to produce more finished works to maintain a sketchbooking habit, to keep that creative flow going when I'm like 
on a piece and I'm feeling a bit antsy to move on to another one to have that space to like get those ideas down and then continue focus back onto the piece I'm currently working on and get it done. And yeah, sketchbook is a great place to like work out ideas, explore color palettes and aid in the process of turning a simple idea into a fully fledged piece. And I hope I'm able to show that process more in the next couple of videos. And with these thumbnails, I, I think the next step is to, I'm gonna take that bottom one, the, the more fully realized one, bring it into Procreate and start rendering out more of the details and really get a structured base for a future painting. Plan everything out, think of colors, think of uh, the value ranges, and just set up for a successful like painting session and finally start painting again on canvas and use using acrylic paint, which it's it's a bit scary, even though I've had like so much experience using like acrylic paints in the past, it's gonna be like a learning curve to get back in that ring of painting, but hopefully with some warm ups and some good planning, it won't be as scary as it seems and I'll be able to get a nice painting out of it. Okay, before I ramble on any longer, I want to stop now and thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys are enjoying these draw with me's and like the real time art sketching process. Uh, there are more on the way and I can't wait to take these thumbnails into a full acrylic painting. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notifications to be reminded for new videos showing my process of the piece and hopefully until the, the final product. And big thank you to everyone who has bought stickers and has supported my shop and my channel this year i appreciate you guys so much and i hope to make better content and better products as i grow and change as an artist you guys are really making my dream career become a reality and i couldn't be more grateful for all of your guys's interest in my work i post more of my artwork on instagram so you can follow me there for more art and updates regarding my shop i also offer um, a free brush up on my shop along with a lot of bunch of um, new sticker designs from last week and i'm currently planning my last launch before the fall so if you're interested in getting an inside look or future discounts regarding that you can sign up for my email newsletter i'll have it linked down below in the description but yeah comment down below what you're drawing in this video or if you're drawing along or if you're working on something also comment down below your favorite summer drink i would love to know and yeah i'll see you guys in next week's video bye